Power Director's at it again. Add new features, and the newest one is pretty cool, and I think it has a lot of potential. Right now, it's doing something awesome that can add something to it. There's so much they can add, little bits they can add, like pretty much right now, and then stuff I think they need to add as they move forward with it. That is the adjustment layer. So, if you've used computer video editing software, adjustment layers come in super handy for a ton of stuff. And this can come in super handy on PowerDirector. Right now, it's pretty cool. Let's get in, use it, and we'll discuss how we can make it better. If you guys like PowerDirector stuff and you want to learn more about how to use PowerDirector, check out my playlist up there, and I'll list it again at the end. So we're in a project I already started. I do have the audio muted for it because it was probably copyright audio. But anyways, I have an adjustment clip here. It's green. Um, it show, seems to show up green no matter how you layer it in there. Then underneath it I have a color board. Let me get rid of my color board. I'll tell you what that does in a minute. So this is what it looks like with just my adjustment clip. And this is what it looks like before the adjustment clip. So as you see as I drag over it, my color changes to what my adjustment clip colors were. Brightens up. I changed a bunch of stuff. Now let's open up the adjustment clip so you can see what it does. It's literally like your adjustment in your tab but as its own clip and this helps and doesn't help so let me show you if you go into your regular clip you have adjustment that's basically everything you saw in adjustment clip and now the uses for this would be if you want to just throw a color grade over the whole thing you can just do it on here and then stretch it out over the whole thing or if you want it to come in partially through the video and have it change that's kind of nice. Now where they're lacking with this is pretty much everything else you expect from an adjustment clip if you're doing it in uh, online or a if you're doing it in a computer software. So like I think it should be able to fade in. So you should be able to fade to the adjustment. It should also not just be color. You should be able to put vignette on there. And that brings me to what my color board is. So I had to throw a color board over the top of it where I created a vignette. And if you don't know how to use a color board to create a vignette, I'll give you a real quick rundown. Take a black color board and you do a black ov an oval mask and invert it. And then play with it from there. I do have other videos where I talk about it, so you can check those out if you want to learn more about it. And there's other stuff you can do with color boards that kind of cut out some stuff. But I think adjustment should be able to have effects added to it. It should be able to fade in, fade out. I don't know, what else do you guys think the adjustment clip should have? What, what adjustment clip things do you have on your computer editing software that you wish it had? I'm going into this and seeing what else we think it should have. So definitely effects, filters, stuff like that that you could add on and then fade into it, fade out of. Everything that you would want to put over the top of something and then maybe have it copy over to the next clip, I think should have the, the adjustment clip should have that. Power Director has a ways to go before they get that adjustment clip where I'd like it to be. But it's a good start in the right direction. I like when they add new stuff and it's really fun to watch it, their progression as they improve the things that they add. So if you guys are PowerDirector fans like I am and you want to learn more about it, check out this video right here, which will show you some stuff you could do with the color board I was talking about. And I'm going to go shoot my next video. Go shoot something, guys. Post it. Peace out. See you next week with another one.